Hey, it's me. <laughs> Today I'm talking about male privilege in the trans community for trans guys and how to navigate a world you weren't socialized in. Ooh. This topic is super interesting to me because I relate it really to all of those passing tips that I see online, which we all know I'm not a fan of because it does give people unrealistic expectations that they are going to pass when they probably aren't. Um, you have to navigate a world where maleness is viewed as superior over everything and you were not socialized as male yet you have to find a way to pass and navigate in this world as male. It's a really tricky situation that we're found in and I think it's a really interesting topic and I definitely want to explore it. So first I want to say that male privilege really comes along with people who first of all, appear as male. So right now, I appear as male. I have male privilege. If I go into a job interview with another prospect who's a woman, there's a very high percentage, depending on what the job is, that I will get the job, only because I'm male and society really values that characteristic in somebody, which I hate and this is why I'm a feminist, and so on. Obviously the job thing isn't the only aspect of male privilege that I can think of, like, I'm not gonna walk down the street and have somebody like, woo, 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 boy, show me that ass, you know? Like, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen to me. But it's, it might happen to a woman, and I don't think that's fair. So that is the first part of male privilege. I look like a man, therefore I have male privilege. Before I transitioned, before I started T, let's, let's, let, let's, let's even like point it down. I was 19 when I started T. So right before I started T, I knew I was trans, I was transitioning, I was changing my name with all my friends, my gender, everything like that, but I wasn't on, horm on hormones and I did not pass at all. Like literally 100% did not pass. I looked like an eight year old boy who was too tall, so obviously you're a lesbian. Um, I did not have male privilege at that time. Now, I've seen some like weird things recently on Tumblr where people are telling other trans guys that you had male privilege because you have, you know, you're male inside. I, I don't believe that. I'm telling you my view right now. You might believe that you're male and know that you're male inside. No matter what, somebody in society is gonna see you as female. They're not gonna know, absolutely not gonna know that you are trans or that you have, you know, your, your, your essence is male and that's who you are. The first thing that they're going to see is that you're a female. That's what people like to do. They like to categorize people in little boxes. And society has two boxes, female and male. If you look female, they're going to categorize you as female. Which sucks, but that's how it is. So trans guys who do not pass, I don't think, have male privilege. Now obviously there's some exceptions to this, but I'm not going to go into those. So before you go all crazy on me, let's just like calm down. <laughs> male privilege is a very interesting topic in society. And I do believe it exists, and I do believe it's there to privilege and help men as much as possible because men have always been on top, no matter what. Uh, just because I'm acknowledging that there is male privilege in society does not mean that I hate men or I hate, you know, myself because I'm male. I'm just saying, male privilege sucks and we should be able to be equal to everybody. <laughs> so now, how do you navigate a world that you weren't socialized in? So let's say you start passing and uh, you go to your new job and some guys are starting to talk to you about how they fucked this bitch and saying some really misogynistic things that you're really not cool with because you know you were probably targeted with that kind of language before way before you transitioned or you even knew you were trans so what do you do in this instance obviously i'm being very gendered right now and i know that some people were socialized by men and socialized in a more male behavior and pattern but i'm just saying most of us who are trans guys were socialized as female I grew up with my dad, my, only my dad, that's it, but I was still socialized as female. Um, but what do you do in that instance? Somebody, oh, saying all these really rude things about women, how do you navigate that situation? You weren't socialized to understand how to talk um, about this without... Like, what I'm trying to say is that they don't know you're trans. You know you're trans. You know what it feels like to have those rude things said about you. So how do you bring it up without them thinking like, you're gay, no homo, bro, some shit like that? That is the tricky situation. What I do is usually just ignore it. If it's really bad, like really bad, then I say something. Like if somebody says some type of rape joke, 
Tracy Pooh gets in there. Like I can't, I cannot do it. Um, I just, I literally just say, look, that's really rude. Like you can't really say those things. And I feel like I'm allowed to say those things because I pass 100% as male now. I have a beard, people do not question me and do not know that I'm trans unless I've told them. But how do you navigate a situation when it's a woman who doesn't know that you're trans and who says all these rude things about men and you're in that situation? <laughs> That's a tough one. Men are scum. Men are disgusting. What are you supposed to do? Just like sit there and take it? So I actually, I used to be a woman. <laughs> like, you can't just say those things. It's, it's, it's not something that people don't like to out themselves in lots of social situations, especially like that. <laughs> None of this is what I'm saying makes any sense. What I'm really trying to say is how do you deal with this male privilege that you didn't have before? That's really what I'm trying to get at. It's hard, honestly. Um, it's, it's, it's strange, first of all, to walk down the street and not be visibly queer. And that was my issue for a long time until I realized piercings and tattoos and the way I actually am is very queer and I'm happy about that. But how, how, how do you deal with this male privilege? Like going to a restaurant and the waiter looking at you and only you and asking you for things and not looking at your girlfriend. Or going to your girlfriend's house and her dad actually treats you better than he treats his daughter. That's hard. How do you deal with that? That's male privilege right there. You do you just you just take it, you just say sorry to your girlfriend, like there's nothing you can do because you don't want to out yourself, right? Honestly, I don't think that there's an answer to to this how to navigate this society because you didn't have male privilege before and now you have it. It's uh, I mean, you know, if you if you're trans and you want to transition, that's great. Um, it's a fucking hard life, uh, especially when you realize that all this privilege that you whew, that you did not have before kind of just crawls up on you. And I know people don't believe male privilege exists, and that's fine. You don't have to watch my videos. You can just like leave. I have other videos that you can watch, but um, I think it's interesting. I also think the really great thing about having this male privilege is the second that I started to pass 100%, I could be so much more feminine and I don't give a fuck about anybody. I used to like really make sure that my posture was like super masculine and like whatever that means and like open my legs and like swagger, you know, stuff like that. Now, mm -mm, I cross my legs, I talk about my cats, about rent, and then I throw in there that I have a girlfriend and confuse the fuck out of them and I love it because they have no idea what's going on anymore and that's my purpose in life to just confuse people. But. <laughs> The male privilege that I got, I was able to transcribe, transcribe? No, transition, <laughs> to transform, that's the word I'm looking for, too many trans. I was able to transform it into something that I could relate with and something that I can deal with. So instead of being that like, you know, just that guy walking around who has more privilege than everyone else, I make myself visibly who I am. And who I am is a very flamboyant person who loves cats, who everybody thinks I'm gay. And even though male privilege exists in the gay community and gay men have male privilege, they have less privilege than men. So I think, I feel like this video right now is just like a therapy session where I'm kind of just talking about my emotions, but I think that me being able to express myself the way that I do, very fun point and shit like that, talking, you know, all this feminine stuff that I do, actually helps me to get rid of some of the male privilege that I, I, that I have that I don't want. I like that. Isn't that interesting? This is a therapy session. I literally just thought about that right now in this video. I think I'm gonna end it this way because I don't think I have anything else to say. I hope this video was as enlightening for you as it was for me. Hope you have a great week.